It was the summer of 2010, my first summer here. We started up the chiller plant and the chillers were running unloaded. We had a delta T of approximately about four degrees. So we were putting out 45 degrees. We were returning on the uh, primary loop about 49 and yet we were supplying 52, 53 degree chill water to the two secondary loops and the tertiary loop to Bar Hall. The process was we needed to discover the required airflow through our main three air handlers and in doing so we were able to go to a chart and calculate or add up the airflow to CFMs through each reheat. Once we realized the airflow that we needed, you're able to calculate your GPM. There's a simple formula. And so we went back to the main chiller plant. We put on a ultrasonic flow meter and we saw what we had on the primary loop through our primary pumps. Once we had our GPM available, then we were able to balance the two secondary loops and the uh, loop for Borough Hall according to the flow that we had in the primary loop. This is your returns coming back from your air handlers and from your fan call units and even from Borough Hall and it goes through your air separator and if you look here you have another line that joins in and this is actually coming directly out of your chiller. So if your secondary pumps, your, both your secondary or your tertiary pumps aren't balanced properly you can very easily take your cold returns, send them back through here and through your chiller, and that's where you have your low delta T syndrome. And that's where you have your problem with the chiller, putting out 45, returning 49, 50, and you're mixing the hotter returns from the building. So this is, you know, typically in a plant like this, you want to uh, retro or recommission um, pretty much on a regular basis. You want to balance your system. And, uh, and, and keep it as efficient and, uh, as possible. The data we collected was our three main air handlers. We, we calculated a CFM, and then you would calculate the flow rate based on total heat. Or you could do sensible heat and latent heat and just add the two together. But you get your total heat through your air handler, and then you calculate your flow rate. So we balanced the secondary pumps to deliver uh, that amount of flow required to the air handlers. So if that flow was say 500, then I had 2,000 on the primary loop. So now I had 1,500 left that I needed to send to the second, the other secondary loop, which would be the air handlers, the uh, fan call units, and then to Borough Hall. The results were amazing. We had a, a delta T at the chiller of about 10, maybe 11 degrees. If we were putting out 45 degree chill water at the chiller, we had 45 degrees being delivered to our air handlers, to our fan call units, and to Borough Hall. The uh, time span to do this uh, was probably about three weeks. Our savings, um, we saved based on utility bills over 1,000 uh, demand kilowatts. And what we didn't take into the calculation there was in Borough Hall, they had window units that they were using as supplementary cooling. Once we got the chill water temperature down to 45 degrees, they were able to turn those uh, window units off and actually start to remove them. So our, our staff here were incredible. They were more than willing to chip in and, and do whatever was required. And my engineers, uh, Paul Wendell, Frank Perez, Mike Spencer, and Dan Fajinski. My oiler was uh, Paul Farrell. And my firemen were Mark Kovalevich, Marco Piallo, Jimmy Riley, and Gilbert Ernest. And of course, the controls technician was Joe Puglisi. The main takeaway is with a little retro commissioning that plants can run a lot more efficiently and we can provide a lot more comfort cooling to the tenants of the building. If they're not being satisfied, they're going to call with complaints. So if you, if you put a little bit of work in, you get the plant efficient, you're saving on energy, and you're saving on, on manpower. You have that manpower now available instead of answering calls, where there's nothing you can do, you can put that into actual real maintenance.
upkeep of your plant.